What's going on everyone? Here we are in the center of Bishar in uh, Algeria. We just came from um, Tahrit in the gates of the Sahara. We are now heading north to Oran and we stopped around here to check things around. And uh, I'm gonna take the time now to make a video. The last video I did was about advantages of traveling in Algeria versus traveling in Morocco. Well, to be fair, now I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna give you five advantages of going to Morocco instead of Algeria. So here it goes, number one. Uh, number one and right off the bat, it's way easier, not just easier, it's way easier to enter Morocco. It's just not, it's not even comparable. First off, as a European, as a Portuguese, and I assume it's the same for every other uh, European country, you don't even need a visa to enter Morocco. You can just cross, they stamp your passport, that's it. To enter Algeria, you need a ton of things. You need insurance, you need a, a bank statement proving that you have uh, funds to provide yourself with, to sustain yourself. You need uh, photographs. There is all this uh, legal procedure for to obtain the visa. And uh, even after you enter, there's a, a ton of work. You have a, a huge... A huge line with customs, all that, it's a, it's a mess. So, no doubt, it's just way easier to enter uh, Morocco. So that's number one. Number two, Morocco. And this, uh, again, I mean, obviously I'm basing this entirely on my own experience. And this is obviously not the absolute truth. But from my experience, this is what I think. Morocco, this is number two. Morocco has more things to see. That's, that's pretty much it. Algeria is huge, has a lot to offer, but Morocco has all the imperial cities. It has, there is a lot more attractions in each city. For example, for example, now we are in Bechar, uh, and there's not much. There's not much. Uh, I've been in Algeria for a week now, more than a week, and I've been to, I've, I've seen one, maybe two museums, and in, in, in Morocco you just have way more things to see, more museums, more offers for the tourists to explore and to enjoy. So, and this, this might, be, might be a disadvantage for some people, some, some people might not even be interested in seeing museums, but from a general point of view, you have more things to do in Morocco as a tourist, as a traveler, as a visitor. Number three, uh, and this is related, Morocco ha is simply way more prepared for tourism. What does this mean? It means that the food is better. It's uh, they're better in the sense that there are more options. There are there are more uh, Western food stuff like that. Hotels. There are more ho more hotels. There are uh, more options as for accommodation. Little hostels. I haven't I haven't seen one single hostel here. Just a few uh, family business uh, like guest houses. But those are rare. Those are rare and are very very and they are not promoted. So you, so you basically don't know they even exist. You can, you can barely find anything online to stay eat here in Algeria and in Morocco there is just a, an endless uh, myriad of uh, options. Uh, the, their level of English is better, especially among uh, Berber people, they speak English pretty well. Uh, I've met two people perhaps in Algeria that did speak English and badly. So it's, it's just not the same. Uh, so number four. And this is related to one thing that I mentioned as an advantage for Algeria. Which might, which might seem a little bit contradictory, but depends on context. So this I'm saying in the, in the, in the, in the sense, in another sense. Number four is that Morocco is more relaxed. Relaxed in what way? There's no police. There is not nearly as much police as there is in Algeria. And I'm lowering my voice now because there might be police around and they might understand what I'm saying. I'd rather not take the risk. So you see, this is what I'm saying. I have to be, I have to have a level of care in Algeria that I don't need to have in Morocco. Of course, there are um, there are two sides to that coin, which is I mentioned that in the other video. Algeria, it is safer. There's less crime and there is more police, so obviously it's safer. But that comes with a cost, which is it's less relaxed. Just today, just today, we were leaving a, we were leaving a, a hotel. And um, at the hotel, at the reception, they were saying that the, the, the police were waiting for us at the exit of the city because they wanted to, to just 
to a checkpoint see where we were going and then we left the town and they were not there but it's you know it's kind of it gets a little bit uncomfortable so that's that's what i mean another important thing to mention about security is that in algeria you just you just can't photograph anything you want there are very sensitive things like uh, police uh, police units military installations police headquarters if you if you shoot something like that if you photograph something like that and they and they see you you might be in trouble in morocco they are way more relaxed in that so so it's part of it uh, and finally number five and uh, this is just what i think again it's it's out of my experience some people might have a different op opinion but this is what i have experienced and that is that morocco is a little it's a little bit it's not a huge difference but Morocco is a little bit more open and tolerant to, to visitors, to other cultures, to, to women, I must say, that's, that's the way it is. I mean, a Western woman can pretty much walk around touristic cities in Morocco and uh, nothing happens. She might be a, a little bit harassed here and there, a few, a few loud mouths saying, saying crap or whatever. But in here, it, it is worse. Uh, I've, I've heard stories like from uh, friends that like a friend of my father that entered the cafe and, and simply, simply by entering a cafe, she was, uh, people were talking down to her, saying you cannot be here, you have no shame, whatever. So they are less tolerant in that, in that regard. And uh, regardless, and this is interesting because uh, despite the people Algerians being very nice and very welcoming they have their own rules you know their own traditions and uh, they just don't see the world in the same way and uh, what does that mean it means that the cultural shock might be bigger and I'm being realistic especially for women so in other words if you're a woman and you want to visit a country like this I would definitely recommend you Morocco before Algeria not that the Algerian people are not nice, on the contrary, they're great. But the, there is a huge cultural shock. There is a cultural shock in Morocco as well, but here it's even bigger. So, and that's, that's it. Five things that you need to know and that hopefully, hopefully will help you if you are undecided between visiting Morocco or Algeria. Um, check out the other video mentioning the advantages of traveling in Algeria. And uh, just make up your mind, I hope it was helpful. So safe travels and keep expanding.